No problem. You go ahead. Lovely. But yeah. Uh, Good to speak to you. I actually was fortunate enough to speak to you um, when, uh, obviously, when Reverence came out. Um, I think we were one of about two or three interviews from South Africa. Yeah. Um, and uh, as I say, that was that was great. And um, but congratulations, first of all, um, on Sunday. Thank yeah. you. Um, let's Thank you very much indeed. Lovely, because um, I remember when when we spoke. I think you were just off to uh, off to the US. Um, Obviously, to promote, right, yeah. yeah, to promote the album there. Um, looking at the new album, obviously that, that that entire American experience had had quite an influence on on the, on the making of this album. Mm-hmm. But also the South African experience and and and, and everywhere we've been thus far. Um, Romania. We spent about two days in Romania, and that had every uh, that was very very powerful for for all of us. Um, certain places, South Africa in particular, where so much recent history that has been, you know, contentious um, has, uh, and that has gone down that you find yourself there completely, you know, against the run of the grain of your life. You, know, you think there's no way I'll ever get to places like that. Right. And then you get there and you, you get to hear, you get to hear ordinary people's stories. You go out there into the street, talk to people and mm. hear what went on as far as they were concerned. And these are all stories you'd never hear otherwise, so um, you feel very privileged and almost feel uh, duty-bound to get some of these experiences down so that other people can have them too, mm. or at least what you've got from them, do you know what I mean? I do, I do. But uh, as I say, I mean, it, it, it's been a remarkable two-year period for the band as, as well. Sure has, yeah. Yeah, I mean, how, sure has, yeah. <laughs> how, how are you actually feeling, you know, at this point? Uh, elated. Um, and a bit shocked, you know, you, 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 you're shocked that it's still going on, that people are still interested in listening to anything you've got to say or play, um, and, and shocked that we're still, we're still managing to keep going, it's, it's a shocking schedule sometimes, mm. I mean, nothing to what the Spice Girls have to do, I suppose, but, um, but still, you know, to, to, to find yourself still in, in reasonably good health, uh, still loving the members of the band, probably more than you did when you first met them. Mm. Um, and everything just being cheerful and, and good and not, you know, there's no, there was no sort of tension or, 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 or nerves, oh God, this has got to sell, oh, we must have a hit, oh God, it's all going to go wrong. It's, you know, because there isn't any way that we can stop making any music just because people don't want to listen to it anymore. So, mm. do you know what I mean? It's, mm. it's, it's been very, very nice, yeah. It's been and, great. And is it is it getting any easier, you know, compared to say doing the first album and being hit with that wall of publicity um, and wall of focus? Yes, it is. It is easier. You, I mean, I'm more used to having my photograph taken, mm. um, and uh, and you're, you're prepared. Before you weren't prepared for the amount of time that it took mm. out of your life, the amount of, of of space that you have to give this thing that is faceless. Mm. Um, it, it requires an awful lot of space in your life. So many things get displaced. So many people that I used to see regularly, I hardly see at all now, mm. simply because this monster is, is eating my life. You <laughs> see what I mean? But I, I you know, it, it's 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 one of those things. You know, it's it's, it's what I wanted. It's um, it's an absolutely beautiful thing. The fact that it's still going on and, and still with such a great vibe. Mm. You know, it's it's something that you just must do. Mm. You know. It's, mm me all around the world. I've, I've met all kinds of people that I know I would never have met otherwise. So yeah, it's fantastic. Mm-hmm. Because as you say, you know, this, the, the machine that is faithless, um, I mean, I can remember uh, you saying that you, you'd never anticipated reverence uh, becoming what it, you know, what it, what it is and what it, you know, what it, what it's yeah. become, um, yeah. you know, on the back of selling, you know, over a million albums um, of a debut, which I think for any act or any any artist, you know, in, in the 1990s, is it's a phenomenal thing. Um, but I think at this point, it must be uh, it, the possibilities that are now, you know, that abound on the basis that you have this you have this foundation that you've created over the last two two odd years. Um, it's a it must be a very exciting place to be. It really is. It really is. There are any amount of things that can happen now. Mm. But um, I suppose the thing that I'm concentrating on is now that the LP is out, you know, we'll spend the next 12 months at least, mm. probably nearer 24, mm. um, going out there and promoting it. And that, to me, is the exciting bit, the fact that we're going to get out there and, and, and do it all again live, but 
in a much more prepared way than the first time in there. Obviously, we weren't expecting the first uh, uh, sort of rush of success uh, at all. And we were very much caught on the back foot and uh, we're reacting to events quite a lot. Now, of course, we, we, we're at least prepared knowing that at the very least, a lot of people will give Sunday 8 p.m. good listen before they buy it. So, I mean, we'll have at least an audience. So, um, we, you know, the, the show has, has reflected the amount of work that we put in. I think Sunday 8 p.m. itself reflects the amount of care that was put into that record as opposed to the first one, which is we, 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 it was like our, our way of saying hello to one another, do you know? Yeah, yeah that's right. We just met and we were bouncing ideas off one another all the time. Mm. Whereas now we've, we've spent two years living in a bus, one with the other. Mm. We know each other inside out. We've had some very deep conversations and we've tried to express some of those um, some of those personal ideas in in the lyrics, but to do it in a, hopefully in an entertaining way mm. or in a novel way, but also in a way that's real, that's human, that people can feel, that can affect it. Mm. That can affect you, do you see know what I mean? So mm. Mm. Because it's, uh, that, mm. go on. Because it's interesting as well, I mean, in, in seeing the video for God is a DJ, uh, the video profiles the band exactly as that, as a band, and not as a, I mean, not as any, I think when Faith is first came out, um, you know, people weren't sure exactly where to place or, you know, perceive yeah. what, what Faithless was, but especially in the Perfect footage that yeah. you used there, um, yeah. Faithless is, in, you know, in no uncertain terms, a band. Yeah, mm. absolutely, and uh, we, we used that, but Jamie, decided that he would use that um, the, the opportunity of directing that video to make that point in uncertain terms uh, simply because you know in a way we create a rod for our own back by putting out dance singles because it, it, it helps to perpetuate this perception that we are you know three guys with keyboards mm. Mm. as opposed to a, a full on nine piece group so uh, we took the opportunity of using this video to put, to lay that, um, that to rest once and for all and so the people actually know what they're getting when they turn up to see a focus live show. It won't be uh, two guys in the shadows with keyboards and me out the front. It'll be yeah. nine people absolutely in your face. You yeah, know? yeah. And uh, yeah, it's it's a great it's a great feeling, especially in, in the festival. Excuse me. <laughs> yes. In, in the festivals that we've been doing, to be getting like huge reactions, like that reaction, for example, in in the videos, there's mm. pink pop yes. in Holland. Yes. And you absolutely got to know that when you're playing a festival that only maybe 20, if you're lucky, 30 percent of the crowd have actually come to see you. Yeah. yeah. The rest just have to be there. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, well, let's check them out, you know, whatever. Yeah. So you know that by the end of the, the, the night when you've got the whole tent rocking and there's eight, nine thousand people there, you know that's a considerable achievement. And what's more, when you go back to playing that country, these people will be back. Mm, yeah, absolutely. You know? Yeah. And so it, it's, it's, it's the live act. It really does help. In, in selling the band because mm. I find with my own record buying like for example there's a rapper that I absolutely love at the moment mm -hmm. um, called Most Deaf right. and he's on uh, Raucous Records and he's an absolutely brilliant rapper and I found myself yesterday buying a, a single that, that he was on yeah. simply because I like him mm. I didn't even bother to listen to the record the music actually is crap <laughs> <laughs> but his rhyme is really good yes. but, you know, that, is, that tends to be the experience of people like you and, and what you stand for and your and your style of expressing yourself, mm. then they, they will go out and buy your stuff and they will come to your gigs. Mm, mm. Because, you, you you know what I mean, you become a part of their life. Sure, sure. You know, it's the same with me when I was, before I, before I became involved in the music business, just strictly as a, as a music lover. Sure. You know, uh, uh, I'm on the opposite, I suppose on the opposite spectrum, there are certain people who, whose music I loved, and I'd read some absolute crap in an interview, which would turn me off them completely. As soon as I was turned off them, I could never play the music again. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Because I think it, as you say, it it, it, it begins with a passion. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And but people now, feel that passion and therefore they like you sure. as, a, as an artist, do you see what I mean? Because that comes across, sure, sure, sure. Yeah. Um, but now, um, lyrically speaking, obviously, um, is this going back to the whole American thing, I mean, obviously there's, there's various themes that run throughout the album, um, but... Uh, yeah. I think, would you say that America was a wake-up call, um, just in the sense that, you know, my God, this place is huge, you know, um, or, you know, was there a wake-up call, or, you know, because I know the expectation was great just before you went to the States. Um, oh, sure. Mm, mm, I mean, how... how the, American experience, the, the American experience itself 
was a wake-up call about America. Mm. But uh, you must understand that within the group, um, it, 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 I think it would be fair for me to say that, you know, without being dismissive in any way, shape, form or fashion, the American tour, the whole thing was absolutely brilliant. The smoothies, you know, the, um, the burgers, <laughs> just the, whole, the whole gig. Yeah. But just being there, you know, driving into Chicago at 7 o'clock in the morning with the sun just coming up, man, yeah. it was magical. Yeah. Some of it, you know, just being in these places that you'd only ever read or, or seen television films of. Right. Uh, it was just amazing. Uh, right. But you see, America is fundamentally different from Europe. Very. Right. In Europe, you can have a club record mm. that will um, that will be a success, despite the fact that nobody on the radio is, is going near it. Yeah. In America, it's the, the opposite way around. If radio aren't playing your shit, forget it yeah. you know what I mean you're just having a hard time and in order to break America mm. um, I'm sure we could do it because we have to we've got the tools oh, for sure. um, mm. but, it, but in, it, uh, unless um, we have a, a single or the American record company can find a single on the album that the radio will play mm. then the only way we'll get to break America is to spend two years over there gigging mm. so, so. now nobody in the band is prepared to do that so. because we have people in Europe and and South Africa and all around the world mm. who are totally, um, have been so loyal and been so um, encouraging and supportive mm. all through this last two years mm. that to desert them for two years on, and the hope of breaking America, Don't you know, fuck yeah. that, that's yeah. not even sensible, it's yeah. it seems to me. Yeah, so, um, so as much as we love the touring and we'll, we'll be back, sure, we'll go back and we'll try our hearts out and we'll do the best that we can, yeah. but um, in a lot of ways, because of the nature of, of the American music industry, mm. it, it'll be very hard for Faithless, I think. Mm. But um, nobody is too upset. It's not like um, we really feel like there's this huge ego thing, like, well, we have to big, be the biggest band on the planet and be big in Europe and America and Japan and everywhere mm. else. It's like, mm. whoever wants us to come and play yep. for us, for them, we will do that happily. Right. You know what I mean? Right. And if America aren't particularly in, in, uh, impressed by Faithless, it's no skin off my nose whatsoever. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, because I think, um, as I said, the, the 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 machine of faithless. Because I, I I think that terminology is is very apt for what it you know for what it's. I like agree. <laughs> but yeah. It's um you know it's um it's it's at a point I think uh, even in in South Africa that the anticipation um of the new album's release is uh, you know is 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 fever pitch because um, you know. Wow. Yeah, which is great, you know. Yeah, that's astonishing. Yeah, and I, and I think, as I say, hopefully, you know, that, uh, you know, if, if we get you guys down here again at some point. Um, We're coming next year. Oh, uh, superb, superb, superb. We're definitely coming next year. Well, I say definitely, you know, these things are always <laughs> not exactly written in, in cement until the ink on the contract is dry, but um, it's, it's, the talk has, there's been definite talk about us coming um, in, uh, in 1999, right. hopefully quite early. To, to, to come and play some shows again, so you expect to see a fairly soon. Excellent, excellent. Because as far as we're concerned, if that's on, anybody else is to come and play in South Africa, we're going. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And that, that. and that will happen. <laughs> yeah, that's excellent. But, but, but back to yeah, we'll be there next year, no question about that. Lovely. Um, if I can ask you just um, one last question, just with regards to the album. Sure. Um, you know, what I did was um, I listened to them, I, was just, I listened to the new album, and I went back to Reverence. Um, and I think the beauty of the two albums is that um, as much as, as the first album uh, was the introduction for you um, as you know as players um, and mm -hmm. and then moving across to the new album which obviously was as you say those relationships were in place and everything uh, you know the understandings were, were, you know the understanding was there um, and you had bonded um, there's very um, very little difference um, you know uh, you, you stayed pretty much within within the reverence mold for lack of a better word but what all that it says to me is that obviously this is something that from day one it has worked. Yeah, it's 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 how we express ourselves. I mean, uh, in a way, as a producer mm. myself, mm. an artist comes to me, a female singer, say with quite a high voice, then I would mould my music to suit her the best way mm. that I felt um, would work and, and showcase her voice. Uh, another singer comes to me with a completely different voice, the music would be utterly different because her, his or her energy would be different there. Um, the energy that I bring with my lyrics and, 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 my per and the force of my personality inspires Rollo to make music in a certain way. 
uh, uh, because he knows that that music will inspire me then to, to perform on it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So um, it's 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 the music is the result of of of, of the four and nine of us together. Mm. You know, if there was two other different people in the group, it would have a completely different feel altogether. So so, but I mean, Do you know what I mean, but then it would it, it would then remain true to that feel because. We are actually being ourselves, hopefully, yeah. with these with these recordings. Rather, we're not trying to to, to, to put anything on or to or to, or, or uh, I was going to say break any new ground. Sure. Um, but what I mean, I think, is break any new ground for breaking new ground's sake. Mm -hmm. You know, what we're trying to be here is expressive. Sure. You know, because I mean, especially within the style of music that you you're doing, it is an ever evolving medium. So you know, one can always yeah. be tempted Absolutely. to try and yeah. You know, dabble outside of that in order to keep it fresh. But um, those yeah. personalities have done that by default, which I think is fantastic. Yeah, but uh, having said that, the um, the talk. I mean, we always start talking about the new album as soon as we finish the old one. Yes. And the talk about the new album, yeah. the third LP, is that there'll probably only be three tracks on it. Okay. It'll be like, you know what I mean? It, it won't be sort of like a ten-track LP. Record, yes. you know, it would be much, much more difficult to take a single out of it, to be honest with you, because they're going to be just like great big pieces of music that go all over the place, you see what I mean, and take you on journeys and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that, I mean, that's a sneak preview, but that's that's what I was talking about right now, and um, yeah, it's going to be very different. Okay. But you know, you're, you're still here the same things within that, sure. yeah. within that concept, yeah. you know what I mean? But, yeah. No, but it's, it sounds great because, of, you know, as I say, it's a. Uh, I think this is a the, the beginning still of a you know of a great adventure. You know, um, I think. I really hope so because there's one thing that I'm convinced about mm -hmm. is that Rollo and Sister Bliss. See, Rollo is is very. Um, Jamie calls him a visionary from time to time, and I think that's very true. He does have very grand ideas. Yeah. Rollo. Yeah. He has very very grand ideas, and the way that Sister Bliss plays all the music. Uh, just a bit so emotionally honest. Mm. You see what I mean with the chords that she chooses. Yes. You know, if she's feeling sad, she will choose some seriously sad chords. Yeah. And not feel, oh, maybe I'm being a bit doomy here. No, that's how I feel, that's what's going on the record. Yeah. You see what I mean? Yeah. Or that's how Max's words have that's how Max's words that's the emotion of uh, Max's words have inspired in me. That's what's going on there. Yeah. And um and in a lot of cases I think it's it's very I can say emotionally honest and therefore accessible if sometimes a little bit painful or, or disturbing at times but therefore accessible because you know everybody's got emotions everybody feels pain and melancholy and and joy and and sexy yeah, yeah everybody feels these things so um mm. as long as they're all they're represented on the album it's from a, a, a you know yeah from the from your heart yes then i, I think the people will be able to get to it mm, mm, mm. excellent um max i'm going to ask you one last favor i know i've already uh, sure, go ahead. Over, overstayed my time um, I'm going to be putting this out, um, uh, obviously in print, but also on a on a radio show, which I do uh, okay. for College Radio, uh, which goes out to a good sixty odd thousand people. Um, yeah. If you could maybe just do, you have done an ID for me on the on the first album, but um, I'm going sure. to ask you for a new one. Um, sure. the, the name of the show is uh, the Cutting Edge. It's that cliche, but uh, um, yeah. if you want to play with that, okay. Uh, what's your name? Uh, Jason. Jason, okay. Right. Hi, this is DJ Maxi Jazz from Faithless, and I'm here with Jason from The Cutting Edge. And don't forget, God is a DJ. Stunning. Thank you very, very much, Maxi. Pleasure. It's been an absolute pleasure. Jason, I hope to see you again next year when we come around. Absolutely. I'll make a point of it. Perfect, perfect. Have a great time, bruv. Yeah, and thanks again. See for you time. soon. Great. Pleasure. Bye. Bye.